Welcome back to the channel. In today's vlog, I go over the lighting setup for a one-man band corporate interview. I feature some of my go-to lights and modifiers. Also, I'll show you some of my favorite apps that help me on set. Stick around to the end to see the results. Always show up early for these corporate ones. It's really important because otherwise you're gonna be dealing with a lot of issues. getting in and out of buildings, uh, security is going to hold you up, whatever the case may be. So I like to just show up early, make sure I'm there on time, give myself plenty of time to set up. So my arrival time or my call time or expected time of arrival was 10 a.m. And then I'm expected to be ready to hit record at exactly 12.30. I've made it into the boardroom. Now I'm going to get set up. So I haven't 100% decided where I'm going to shoot, but it may be into this corner over here. So we'll have the subject kind of standing right here. We'll key from where all the windows are and go that route. So let's get set up two hours before we have to hit record at 1230. So let's see what we can get set up. So first thing I'm going to set up is my tripod. I'm gonna get it set up and put a camera on. That's priority one. Get my framing. See what we look like. I'm gonna go a little higher. And the reason I'm gonna go a little higher is because when I need to, I could drop it quicker than I can raise it up. So it's just a speed thing. Little tip right there. So I'm at the 50 mil. I'm liking the framing. It looks decent. It's nothing crazy. Let's see. All right, we are leveled out. So you run into a situation where you're like, okay, I want a lot of depth, but then if you have too much depth or um, too much in the background, you just, it gets too busy for it. So, you know, you see me moving in, you're like, oh, move back at as much depth as you need. So shifting things over, moving the frame. What I will do is I will jump in front of the camera and let you see everything. So now, that I kind of have the frame up that I'm liking or that's close. I'm gonna go ahead and move the chairs out of the way. I'm back. All right. Yeah, that's all cleared out, looking good. A lot better now, real spacious. We have some leading lines. I'm gonna go for this. I'm, I'm liking it. The windows are on this side. So they are camera left and then camera right is a wall. So I'm gonna motivate the light from here. So let's get a stand up. So I really like this. Um, we'll have a hair light come in and everything. So we're gonna continue with the key light. Now, why did I opt for the 600X? Because I have another shoot tomorrow in Houston. I'm gonna put this nice soft box on it. So here's a pro tip on how to set these guys up. It's spread out on the ground. Come in, push, pull it into place, and it's ready to go. The grid is already on it. I doubt I'm going to use it because I'm going to want plenty of spill. It's all connected. All right, let's fire her up and see if it works. We're running. We're set up good. We're going to get it just out of frame. Okay, we have plenty of output. I'm only at 24%. And now I'm gonna pull up my phone because I didn't bring my uh, color meter. I'm gonna go to an app called Light Meter. <clears throat> so this is the app. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna point up at the lights here and I'm gonna see what we're getting as a reading. So if you look closely, Right there, we're getting 3359K. So now I'm gonna set this light to that. 33, 34K. See if we're getting the same readout. It's showing 32. So go a little up. The modifier will change it. 3389, that looks good there. And then I'm gonna adjust this guy. See if it gets the same readout. 37. Let's 
3385. So we have three matching lights. This light, this light, and this light. So we have our key, our overheads, and our hair light are all matching. So that's how I do it, quick and easy. Match them up so everything looks good. So now when I look at the monitor, it looks really good. Doesn't look blue. I like to run the grid. So I put the grid on so it controls the light. And the way you can tell it's controlling life, you can see the light through here. You see it, you see it, and then it stops. And that's what it does, is it controls the light in that manner. So I'm looking at the monitor right now, checking out how the frame looks and see how we're coming along. Give myself some wiggle room, make it land-ish right there. Perfect. And then I'm gonna put the XLR on it. Boom, set up. We got that set up, we've got my hair light. So I'm gonna be putting the pop of light over there where the blue is in the frame. That's looking good. So I'm gonna leave the case for this guy here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the Cytus Link app here. And then I'm gonna go here. And then what you do is from that, you go to add and then a new fixture. And it's gonna be searching for a new fixture. So I'm gonna go over here and connect this guy first. You go into menu, Bluetooth reset, yes. And I'm gonna add another one. So I'm gonna go to menu, Bluetooth reset, yes. Okay, add. We have the tube. Those are our three lights. And you're wondering, three lights. We have background, we have key light, and we have hair light. What are we missing? What are we missing? We're missing a fill. And I love to use a bounce for fill. Let me see if all these work. All lights on, off, all lights on. Perfect. I like to use a bounce. So that's what this guy is for. So I'm gonna bring this stand up. So we're gonna go here. And it's going to click in. Awesome. And then this guy comes up, which is just foam core. Simple foam core balance. And then I can adjust it. We have an Aperture 600X Pro with a Light Dome 3. Amaran T2C with 45 degree grid. 60D for our background light right there. All right, so this is the setup. We have our key light in, we have our hair light, we have a bounce, and then we have that background light right over there. What I'm gonna start with is these guys. They're oil absorbing wipes. And what they do is they remove the oil on your skin. Um, they're really great. They're better than doing makeup on guys a lot of times because guys don't want makeup. That's a lot of steps. You just hand them one of these or a few of them. You tell them to blot their nose their cheeks and then their forehead will get extra oily and gross. And if it gets oily like this, then you know it's doing its job and it's removing that sheen so you don't get those specular highlights that you don't want in a soft interview setup. So I'm gonna drop these guys here. So let's start with nothing. I'm gonna open the Cytus Link app. I have the actual uh, three lights that we're using connected here on the app. So I'm gonna start with the um, let's just turn them all off. Let's see what it looks like with all the lights off. This is what it looks like with all the lights off. There's not lights on. There's just the overheads that are in this space. Um, you're not going to get the best look. If you look at the false color, it's not very pleasing. So let's turn on the background light and see how much that pops. So I'm going to turn that one on first and show you how that plays. And that's the backlight on and then off and then again on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the hair light and show you how that one plays and turn that guy on. And I'm gonna make sure, yep, there it is. I'm letting it hit my shoulders and I could adjust it a little bit more and bring it in and let it hit, but that's on or off and then on just a little bit. So I gotta watch out for these guys here on me, receding hairline, and you don't wanna get that on the subject. If you see here, that's not gonna look good when you have that happening constantly in an interview. So I wanna make sure that it's just a touch on the shoulders and gives me a little bit of a pop. And you can see actually hitting right here, give me a little bit of a hair light. And you can see it in the false color when it goes on and off. So that's off and then that is on. So we know what that does. Now let's look at the key light and see what it's doing. 
and there's the key light. We're going for a flat look. It's corporate. We don't want moody. We have the bounce here. Now, let me show you something really cool. So you see the key light on. We have the ultra, or not an ultra bounce. It's actually a foam core, but we'll call it ultra bounce or bounce. Look what it does when I remove it from the you know, actual scene and see what it's doing over here. So pay attention and look at the false colors change. There. And then I'm going to move it back and you can see what it's doing. It's going to come back in. There you go. So you can see that it's actually changing things up. Now, normally um, when you're doing interviews, a lot of times they're not straight to camera. So also consider how the light is hitting you when you're not going straight to camera. So they'd be looking this way a lot of times. So you can see how it's going to play. <clears throat> and then we're going to pull that guy out. And then we're going to pull that guy in to play. So now I'm looking at the light this way and you can see how lights hitting me different and reacting differently from me looking straight on. It's really hard because a lot of times you'll get real sidesy um, from doing it straight on. You'll get a 50 50. You'll get one side that's uh, bright and one side that's dark and it's straight down the middle. And that doesn't look good all the time. And that is a look and it's your choice, but that just shows you what the light is doing. So let's go ahead and introduce the tube light and let's look at the false color now and see if that tube light is actually playing. Hello. Good, good. How are we looking? We are looking good. So we've got everything set up. So I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to show you how it looks. I'm going to let's start with nothing. I'm going to open the Citus Link app. I have the actual uh, three lights that we're using connected here on the app. So I'm going to start with the um, let's just turn them all off. Let's see what it looks like with all the lights off. This is what it looks like with all the lights off. There's not lights on. There's just the overheads that are in this space. Um, you're not going to get the best look. If you look at the false color, it's not very pleasing. So let's turn on the background light and see how much that pops. So I'm going to turn that one on first and show you how that plays. And that's the backlight on and then off and then again on. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the hair light and show you how that one plays and turn that guy on. And I'm going to make sure, yep, there it is. I'm letting it hit my shoulders and I could adjust it a little bit more and bring it in and let it hit, but that's on or off and then on just a little bit. So I got to watch out for these guys here on me, receding hairline, and you don't want to get that on the subject. If you see here, that's not going to look good when you have that happening constantly in an interview. So I want to make sure that it's just a touch on the shoulders and gives me a little bit of a pop and you can see actually hitting right here, give me a little bit of a hair light and you can see it in the false color when it goes on and off. So that's off and then that is on. So we know what that does. Now let's look at the key light and see what it's doing. And there's the key light. We're going for a flat look. It's corporate. We don't want moody. We have the bounce here. Now let me show you something really cool. So you see the key light on, we have the ultra or not an ultra bounce. It's actually a foam core, but we'll call it ultra bounce or bounce. Look what it does when I remove it from the you know, actual scene and see what it's doing over here. So pay attention and look at the false colors change there. And then I'm going to move it back and you can see what it's doing. It's going to come back in. There you go. So you can see that it's actually changing things up. Now, normally um, when you're doing interviews, a lot of times they're not straight to camera. So also consider how the light is hitting you when you're not going straight to camera. So they'd be looking this way a lot of times. So you can see how it's going to play. <clears throat> and then we're going to pull that guy out. And then we're going to pull that guy in to play. So now I'm looking at the light this way and you can see how lights hitting me different and reacting differently from me looking straight on. It's really hard because a lot of times you'll get real sidesy um, from doing it straight on. You'll get a 50 50. You'll get one side that's uh, bright and one side that's dark and it's straight down the middle. And that doesn't look good all the time. And that is a look and it's your choice, but that just shows you what the light is doing. So let's go ahead and introduce the tube light and let's look at the false color now and see if that tube light is actually playing. Hello. 
Good, good. How are we looking? We are looking good. So we've got everything set up. So I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna show you how it looks. If you wanna see the longer version of this vlog with more BTS and an uncut version of me setting up my lighting, cameras, and audio, click on this video right here or check in the description. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'd really love to hear your feedback in the comments below.